This is the big event of the night, and uh, these two, they're dangerous. This is something I've been looking forward to all evening. It was very entertaining watching Casanova and uh, Johnny Mr. Muscles England, and I certainly enjoyed the Batman. And uh, I suppose Dashing Dave could be pleased with himself, uh, as indeed could be Hercules. But this is the one we've all been waiting for. This is the one the crowd have got themselves going for. Here they are, the forces of evil. Lucifer and the Axeman. Well, that really is a sight. I, I certainly wouldn't like to be in the ring with them tonight. They're, uh, they're the toughest duo on the circuit. Unbeaten as a tag team. Um, well, do you think there's any truth in those rumours about him being uh, brutally scarred? Well, I've never seen his face. I've been in the uh, dressing rooms on a number of occasions when they've been getting ready. Um, they tended to shut the door in my face whenever I come anywhere near. And uh, as a consequence, I have never seen either of these two gentlemen's faces. I'll tell you something else, Tricky Ricky. I've never seen them arrive or leave the venue. That really is amazing. So nobody actually knows their uh, true identity. We don't, but uh, we certainly know that when their names are called out, they turn up and come in the ring and give a magnificent wrestling display. And, and uh, what do you feel of their chances tonight? Uh, do you think they're going to beat uh, Thunder and Lightning? I, I think they're going to be too strong. Uh, our Thunder and Lightning are a wonderful team, and uh, this is their chance, their one in a million chance to take the AWA uh, Tag Team uh, World Championship. There they are, in the ring, ominous, strong, ruthless. Well, there are opponents being introduced by your MC there, uh, Robert Hopkins, and very fine job. The Serbian champion, a former male model, his hardcore human and his partner, a former Serbian champion himself, Blue Breaker, together they make up the partnership. There they are, the uh, wonderful uh, wrestling duo of uh, Hardcore He-Man and uh, Blue Breaker. They look good, they're fit uh, and they're in shape and they, they want to take this title. He's, uh, Blue Breaker, of course, a former uh, California lifeguard known as the Blonde Bombshell, apparently. I also believe that uh, he's coached to the uh, British wheelchair wrestling team. And uh, there, of course, is Hardcore He-Man. Very popular, very, very popular duo, as you can see with the fans. Nobody can move this man. Although there have been slight rumours, of course, in the press that he didn't train maybe as much. He feels it's going to be an easy match. I think he could be, uh, he could misjudge it. I think it's going to be a very hard match, very hard match for them both tonight. But we're going to see. They're going to enter the ring to uh, a big ovation from the crowd. I mean, well, one or two very unkind remarks, actually, about uh, Hardcore He-Man, about the fact that uh, he's probably relying too much uh, on uh, Blue Breaker in the uh, tag team uh, matches. <clears throat> yes, I have heard that. Uh, Blue Breaker, a uh, uh, very fit, very fit man. Uh, he, he's done exceptionally well. Okay. Uh, duo. But, yes, but of course, I mean, let's face it, he's, uh, he's half the size of uh, Hardcore He-Man, and uh, against the uh, magnificent pairing, of uh, Lucifer and uh, the uh, Axeman, uh, I think he can find himself in a lot of trouble and he's going to need that help from Hardcore He-Man, that weight, that size. Well, it's funny uh, that you should say because uh, Blue Breaker has started off in the ring and uh, Hardcore He-Man taking a break at the back. But uh, very nimble, very agile performer, as you can see. He likes to entertain the crowd. Forward roll there, out of any trouble. Pulled into a... Uh, the vicious wrestle, trying to roll out of it. Back roll, pops himself up, flips himself over, forward kick, picks up Lucifer, throws him over with a stomach drop. That's a nice start. And uh, let's hope he'll be able to bring in that hardcore He Man almost immediately. Well, I thought uh, Lucifer was going to tag there with the Axe Man, but hardcore He Man going to the ring. Let's see what he's made of. So obviously these uh, rumours aren't necessarily true then, because uh, he's taken an early entry uh, into this battle. That's rather uh, unlike him, but we're going to see. He, he looks like he's in the mood for action tonight. Uh, up against Lucifer. Turns him over. That's yeah, a uh, very interesting uh, leg snatch, and uh, we may well be seeing one of the uh, speciality moves from uh, Hardcore He-Man, which is the reverse uh, Boston Crab. 
I think he's got him. He's uh, certainly manoeuvring towards that. If he pulls him up into this, this could actually be uh, a very early exit uh, to the bout. <coughs> and there he goes. Yes, he's going to go for it. He's got him. He's pulled him up. He's turned him over. Then that uh, and straight in is the X man. And really, once again, this uh, it calls into question the referee. That that really should not be allowed. So Lucifer recovering well. Arcor he went down, and uh, Lucifer looking looking in very good shape. He says he's going to promise to uh, devote this title to the devil. Ah, uh, but we've got the uh, the X man coming in. Two big men fighting him. Well, you wouldn't have expected that, would you? I mean, certainly uh, having seen the Axe Man uh, wrestle a number of occasions, uh, I'm very surprised to see him uh, pushed to the ground like that. And uh, of course, he's going to come up and uh, hand out some punishment now to Blue Breaker. Uh, I can't see personally any reason, uh, Tricky, why um, a hardcore he man would have left the ring. No, no necessity at all. He was on top, um, but he just uh, decided to take a back seat. But he's a supreme uh, wrestling champion. And uh, Mr. Chaps. The vicious poster. He was also uh, met in the corner there by a um, uh, little punch in the back there from uh, Lucifer. Did the referee see that? Uh, of course not. We've still got uh, Mr. Justice Jones in the ring, of course. Almost out of the ring, Blue Breaker, but he comes straight back with a drop kick. And the axe man's down. Yes, but he didn't follow him up fast enough and he's pulled out of the ring and I'm not at all surprised by that. <clears throat> uh, Lucifer tried to follow it up with a uh, headbutt, was met by a uh, punch in the stomach by Blue Breaker. Now, uh, he is very, very agile. He'll be able to make his way back into the ring uh, very quickly indeed. This is, of course, a uh, speciality move of uh, Blue Breakers. He won't stay outside the ring for much longer, I can assure you. There he goes. Goes over the top, comes underneath between the legs of uh, the Axe Man. Yes, he's got him back in. Got him with a leg drop. Goes away. Is he going to make use of the ropes? No, he's uh, bracing himself for something. Uncle He Man still sitting it out. There have been rumours about his diet, of course, that he's not been uh, eating right. Uh, maybe looking a little bit overweight. A little bit overweight. He's a big man, so he's probably got a big appetite. Well, you certainly couldn't say that uh, Blue Breaker was uh, looking overweight. No. Magnificent piece of athleticism there by Blue Breaker. Runs across the ring, makes full use of the ropes, comes back, drop kicks, knocks the uh, Axe Man out of the ring. He's taking a lot of punishment. He's obviously worried about his nose. That could be blood coming from his nose now. I don't think he'll be bothering about that. He's vowed to win this championship tonight uh, to make up for his hideous features. He, he wants to win it. And we welcome uh, Hulk Hawking now back into the ring. Nice to see him. Goes into the corner. Holds him in position. He's asking for the crowd to kill him. Really needs to follow that up and doesn't. Let's Axe Man off the hook. Axe Man. Slams him to the floor, follows up, number of uh, side kicks to the face. That's the one thing that uh, will upset uh, Hardcore He Man. He doesn't like anybody doing anything to his face. No, he's a uh, former uh, male model. He, uh, he likes to keep in shape. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe he's making more money outside the ring than in it now. Of course, that's uh, why we had to uh, wave a sorry goodbye to uh, Hulk Hogan. That's right. All the endorsements, the publicity, the fame. Could be getting to him. But uh, it's a tough game in there, and uh, you've got to take the knocks in order to earn the money. These boys really do earn the money, Tim. Of course, you did it yourself in your day. Well, we're going back a bit now, Ricky, and uh, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I'm going to talk hardcore He Man one or two things. He rolls him over into a uh, press, doesn't hold it. Pulled out, of course, uh, probably distracted there by the fact that uh, the axe man was very quickly into the ring. I really do think uh, Justice Johns has got to get a grip here. Yes, I think the referee really has lost all control of the fights tonight. And he's holding uh, Lucifer up to the crowd, uh, going to slam him. Uh, this, this could be something. Just drops him, just drops him. He's almost contemptuous, isn't he? But, uh, a bit of a superstar. He butts the uh, axe man out of the ring, comes across, 
putting Brubaker back in. Now you see, I think that's a mistake because I think he should have stayed in the ring and finished it. Could have finished it, but uh, letting Brubaker in and really Brubaker, he's got uh, he's got much less weight, but he's got the agility going for the press and wasn't allowed once again. The Axe Man coming in and uh, stopping the count. Uh, and I think uh, Justice John's lecturing him there a bit. It's about time he did something like that. Going for the fall. Gets a two count. So he's really got to suffer now. Uh, Lucifer, before he go for a move like that. And the only person who's going to be able to do that is a uh, hardcore demon. But he is, of course, he's uh, on the sidelines. Rumours, of course, of him being uh, drinking in nightclubs. Uh, maybe not preparing as he should. In fact, there was even talk that he was seen live in the gutter in Warsaw. I think he might well be uh, been out on the loose at the moment with Casanova, who, of course, we all know uh, lost his first bout this evening to uh, Johnny Mr. Muscles England. Now then, back to the wrestling. A couple of kicks to the groin there from Lucifer. He loves punishing people, doesn't he? Blue Baker looking in trouble. And here comes the Axe Man. Related, of course, to Albert Pierpont, the last official Axe Man in the country. Historical information for you. Used to hang out at the Tower of London, so I believe. Here we go. Maybe a Blue Breakers for the chop. Viciously slammed there to the canvas. Unorthodox backdrop. He looks in trouble. Get a real close up of the action here. Ooh, that was a vicious leg drop straight to the throat. I think he may be unconscious. Some people say these fights are fixed, but you can see here really, you know, that these boys look this. Got him in a full Nelson. <clears throat> Asking the referee. Oh no, that's that's uncalled for. That's a vicious move by the uh, the pairing of uh, Mad Axe Man and uh, Lucifer. They've obviously had some blinding device in the corner that stunned the crowd. Well, I think we've got to ask ourselves, where is Hardcore he uh, Where is he? He's uh, making no attempt really to get back into this ring. Of course, not being allowed to by the deadly duo. I think he's been uh, eating too much, not training enough, and going out too much. Pairing here of uh, Blue Breaker and Hardcore He-Man, if you like, it's uh, had its day and uh, he's going for the, uh, the fall. Hasn't weakened it enough. I have to bring him up again and uh, find a different way of weakening him. He may well uh, move into one of his favourite moves shortly, the, uh, the Axe Man, which is the uh, full Boston Crab. Gives him a uh, tough posting there, in which again he was once met by the uh, Fist, clenched fist, I might say, of uh, well, the ring. And, and, and Justice John's not doing anything at the moment at all. He doesn't seem to be want to be uh, vertical backdrop. Doesn't want to be involved in the action at all. Follows it up. This is the end. Two kicks out. I don't know where this young man gets his energy from, but uh, it would certainly help if uh, Hardcore He Man was uh, allowed back in the ring. Uh, Hardcore He Man uh, recently signed a, a movie contract. It's uh, in the remake of Lassie. The lead I I'm often amazed by uh, how much information you have to hear about these wrestlers. Well, they do tell me. I know hardcore he man likes to publicise his work. Oh, uh, now here we are. This is what I warned about. This is uh, Lucifer stepping into the Boston crowd. This is it. He's looking for a uh, submission. Look at the strength of this young man. It's absolutely incredible. He's making his way over, slowly but surely. To Hardcore He-Man, and Hardcore He-Man at least offering the hand well, of something. friendship, and he's tagged him. He's tagged him. So the trouble this... is, the referee's been looking the other way because he's been trying to get the uh, Axe-Man out, and he hasn't seen the tag, I'm afraid. Well, the crowd don't like it. No, he's uh, pushed it back. Well, that is asking for trouble. Uh, once again, Richard, Justice John's uh, taking his eye off the action, leaving Blue Breaker back in the ring there with uh, Lucifer, and uh, he just didn't see the tag, so... There's that fist again. This is tough. Uh, the referee is really uh, losing control. It's a rough house in there. And uh, I don't think Blue Baker can uh, take much more. Looking for the fall. Two count. Pushes him out. Pushes him out. 
not too sure about all these rumours about uh, Lucifer and the X-Men, whether they really are uh, devil worship and all those many things, but it's certainly helping them tonight. I think he thinks he's weakened him enough to go for the full submission. I can't see him making that tag again. Making a desperate effort to get over to tag to uh, Hardcore He-Man. And uh, what the referee's going to see at this time. Uh, yes, Hardcore He-Man entering the ring now, entering the ring, and the referee once again didn't see the tag, uh, and this is disgraceful to him. Well, I think we're going to have to take a long, cold look at the refereeing of this evening fight by uh, Richard uh, Justice Jones. It's uh, not been very impressive. Taunting. Lucifer taunting Harkle Heman, and Harkle Heman not really stretching out. He, he looks too concerned about his long good looks. Ah, oh, but there, there's a nice kick drop from the canvas. And brings in Harkle Heman. Strolling almost leisurely into the Lifts Lucifer from the canvas, looking for a big stomach drop, brings him to a vertical, slams him onto the canvas. Wonderful move by Hulk Hima, and I've always thought that uh, he was uh, one of the best wrestlers that we have to offer here in the AWA. And somebody who gets through a tremendous workload. Trained by uh, Johnny Mr. Muscles in one. Thanks. Flying elbow. Meets Lucifer, knocks him to the ground. Elbows the axe man. Posts Lucifer. Comes back, dishes out the dirt. Isn't that wonderful to see? He's agile. He means business. Well, I may have been giving him too much of a hard time. I thought he was uh, out of condition, but he's certainly showing it now. He's taken both of them apart, and uh, he could be all over. There he is, taking Lucifer by the head, and the Axeman. This could be a double head blast, and... Back and That could be a 10 cow. This could be an official knockout. Justice Johnson. Big quick on the count. Crowd absolutely loving this. Comes in with two flying elbows on the reverse. Got some terrific height there. This is excellent. This gives the chance for Blue Breaker to have a rest for a change. Let Hardcore He-Man get on with some of the uh, meat, meat, meat of the uh, bound. Oh, Burning his mind. Big head drop there. And he lifts up Blue Breaker. And what's he going to do now? What's he going to do? He takes his partner and he drops Blue Baker down. They're going for the count. I think it's all over. And headbutting Lucifer. And I think it's finished. Blue Baker makes the count. A fantastic evening. I think it's been a privilege to be here tonight to witness top wrestling such as this team. Absolutely fantastic. The crowd are on their feet. They loved every minute of that bout. And I must say that uh, I probably brought into question whether or not uh, Hardcore He-Man was committed. Well, he's answered me, hasn't he? He certainly has. He's shown, and myself, he's shown, shown what good shape he actually is in. He may be going out to nightclubs, uh, but he's in shape. Well, yeah, I'd be very interested in a uh, match between uh, Hercules and, say, the Exterminator to meet these two. Yes, that would be a match to see. Well, and maybe we will, but uh, it's been a great night here. Uh, at Leicester, the De Montfort Hall, a historic night for wrestling.